Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 4 assignment of cloud computing course. So friends, hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start the video. Before that, please watch the video till the end without skipping because if, if you skip, you may miss the content I will show or the answer I will change in the video. So please watch full video. And these, I believe that the solutions are 100% correct and prepared according to the lectures. Uh, so if you have any doubts regarding change of answer, you can comment in the comment section. And just before the submission day, you can uh, once again come back to the comment section because if there are any changes, I will mention in the comment section. I think there, there will be uh, no changes. But in case any rare, cha rare changes, I will mention in the comment section. So let's get into the video. With first question: Azure App Services plans define dash. So for first question, the there are three solutions for this. The first one is option A, instance size, and the second one is third option, region, and the third one is option D, scale count. So mark option A, C and D. It means except B everything is correct. And moving on to the second question. In Azure app service supports local git to deploy content to a web app. So the statement is true. So mark option A. As correct answer for second question. And moving on to third question. Which of the following statement or statements is or are false for Microsoft Soft Azure Resource Group? Guys, here they are asking false statement, not true statement. So we know that it is a logical container, but in option C they give it is a physical container so it is wrong option I mean it is a wrong statement so option C is correct correct option so mark option C as correct answer for third question and moving on to fourth question identify the correct statement on Google app engine so for fourth question again there are two solutions here the first one is option B it is a platform as a service PaaS component of GCP it is true option B is true and the other option is fourth one option D it is a part of GCP compute module so option D is also correct so mark option B and option D as correct answers for fourth question. So moving on to the fifth one. Google Cloud Data Store provides flexible object storage with global edge caching. So the fifth state fifth question statement is absolutely false. So Cloud data store will not provide flexible object storage. So mark option B. Option B is the correct answer for fifth question. And moving on to the sixth one. They gave statement one. In Microsoft Azure, a cloud uh, a deployment user is required for FTP and local Git deployment to a web app. So the first statement is true and moving on to second statement when deploying the Azure app remotely the login password of Azure account needs to be entered. It is wrong statement because we should not uh, enter login password that means portal password we should use deployment previous deployed password. So this is wrong. So answer is option A. Statement 1 is true and two, statement 2 is false. So mark option A as correct answer for 
sixth question. And moving on to seventh question, we have to match the following. So here, seventh question, Google App Engine, what it does? So Google App Engine will helps to migrate web applications to Google Cloud Platform GCP. So option for A it is three. For A it is three given in two options and the Google Cloud endpoints what this will do Google endpoints will help the use end users application scalability so for option B it is 2 so and C Google API will belong to the first one integrates Google services into end users application so C1 so all these features are given in option B so mark option B as correct answer for seventh question and moving on to the eighth question while developing a web app using Google Apps Engine the development server should not be kept running when changes are made to a source file it is false because we can leave it running also there is no problem so option B is the correct answer for eighth question And next, moving on to the ninth question. Identify the correct statement on OpenStack storage concepts. Guys, actually, uh, it does not belongs to fourth week. It belongs to third week uh, question. It is a third week question. But given in fourth week, uh, no problem. We have the answer for this. So, Ninth question. They they are asking the current correct statements on OpenStack storage concepts. So for ninth question, there are two options. The first one is option A. Ephemeral storage is managed by Nova. It is correct one. A, option A is correct, and along with that option A, option C is also correct. Both block storage and object storage persist until specifically deleted by the user. So mark option A and option C as correct answers for ninth question and moving on to the tenth question which, which of the following is or are storage services provided by GCP so for tenth question there are two answers again so they are option B cloud SQL and along with option B, the other option is option C, cloud data store. So mark option B and option C as correct answers for 10th question. So friends, these are the sol solutions for week 4 cloud computing course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. So for further more videos and also for before week, I mean third week uh, assignment, it is available in the uh, NPTEL playlist. So you can watch it. So for further more videos and regarding other course videos, keep supporting our channel. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.